Looks like you're going to have to take the Henry Cavill red pill or the Henry Cavill blue pill. Superman or Witcher, your choice. Let's talk about it. Good news, everybody. Well, maybe good news, maybe bad news. Let's talk a little bit about it. Looks like Henry Cavill is going to do The Witcher Season 3, but he, he's not doing Witcher Season 4. And wow, wow, whoa, whoa, this is, this is big. This is a thing. Um, so if you recall, we talked a little bit about, you know, we've reviewed The Witcher Season 1 and Season 2 in other podcasts. And, you know, Witcher Season 1, not too bad. Witcher Season 2 is kind of like, ooh. And then you started to hear stories. You started to hear stories about the writing in The Witcher and how Henry Cavill felt about it. One good example uh, is the horse. And spoiler, if you haven't seen it, but there, there's a scene where the horse dies. And if you're a play, if you played Witcher, apparently there's a connection to the horse. People get very, you know, they're very attached to the horse, which I, I, I you know, played Red Dead. You know, I like my horses there. I never played the Witcher, but I can understand where people come from. Uh, the Witcher is actually based also off of a, not just a video game, but it's also a, a, a series of Polish um, books, right? So, apparently Henry Cavill wants to stay very close to the source material, and I understand where he's coming from. So, with the death scene of the horse, they were the writers were going to make a joke about it. They were going to make it like, ha, 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 look, your horse died. So hilarious, you know, for all of us who watched, uh, you know... The never-ending story and watched our our horse die there i don't need to see another horse die thank you i don't need to make a joke of it so henry cavill was like no this is a very serious moment people really care about the horse like why would you just if you're gonna kill like you can't just kill the horse it's like a thing you can't just do it it'll make people very sad we have to respect the horse so anyway long story short he wrote rewrote the scene and had the dialogue a little bit different so it's just one example of a clash that happened on the set of The Witcher. Well, apparently, Henry Cavill has given up The Witcher. He has quit. It is over. He's done. Season 3 will be his last season, and they'll be turning the reins over to this man, Liam Hemsworth. Not Chris Hemsworth, mind you. Liam Hemsworth. Oh, my gosh. This is, this is the death knell of The Witcher. I hate to tell you folks that The Witcher is officially over. It was renewed for a four season without Henry Cavill. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? And he's going to take over as Geralt of Rivia. What? Are you? This is bonkers. Uh, it seems to be an amicable passing of the torch. Yeah, they're happy to get rid of a guy who actually cares about the show. There's also a leak out there that the producers hate the show, hate it. They hate the games, hate the show, hate the whole thing. Clearly, it was a fight between Cavill and these these writers, but this is just, this is crazy. This is like, talk about shooting yourself in the foot. Oh my gosh. But there's still good news. So let, let's finish with this and then we'll move on to the good news. Uh, my journey as Geralt of Rivia has been filled with both monsters and adventures. And alas, I will be laying down my medallion and swords for season four. In my stead, the fantastic Mr. Liam Hemsworth will be taking up the mantle of the White Wolf. <laughs> he passes. The t I just can't even. I can't even. Yeah, I struggled to watch this uh, season two. And season three, I heard, is not good. There's already things going on. This is, I look, Henry Cavill sounds like a professional. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this decision. If you found out that the writers hated the show that you were doing, I'd be pissed too. And I'd be like, you know what? Gonna move on here. Hemsworth starves such things as The Hunger Games. Great. Uh, he's also star of such things that you've never heard of as the Roku channel's most dangerous game. <laughs> like this dude, I hate to tell you, but he's not uh 
not gonna be filling many shoes. Here's the bigger news. So, uh, well, we'll move. We'll keep going with this for just just one more second because there's there's one more thing I want to put in here. The Witcher has a spinoff with the most diversest of castes I've ever seen in my entire... This is like going so out of your way to make it so super awesomely diverse. I just don't understand. It's 1,200 years before Geralt. Like, if you want to make a spinoff, it's fine. I'm cool with that. But, like, they make the most... So bizarre that they're going to do this. So bizarre. There's this whole interview. You're killing this. You're killing the franchise. You let the big... I don't understand why people don't like Henry Cavill. Like, what's there not to like? The man is great at what he does. He's like... He goes all in on these roles. Literally brought you the biggest... One of the biggest rated shows you've ever had on Netflix. One of the biggest stars in the world. You know, Superman. You know, all these things. Nope. Not going to, no, we're just going to have diverse generic casts. Yep. I'm so excited for this. Not. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mini Driver's going to be a cast member. Why, 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 why would I watch this? Not interested at all. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Let's go to the final part. And uh, we're going to hear from the man himself because here's what he's really up to. He's fully committed to Superman. Walter Hamada from DC has been canned. And now we've moved on to the genuine refined article. Who else would you like to have play Superman? He's got the curly cue. Come on, people. It's Henry Cavill from his mouth. Well, you'll hear what he has to say. He's going to tell us. Hey, everyone. I wanted to wait until the weekend was over before posting this uh, because I wanted to give you all a chance to watch Black Adam. But now that plenty of you have, I've seen it. I wanted to make it official that I am back as Superman. B -b 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 and the image you see on this post and what you saw in Black Adam are just a very small taste of taste, things to come. Just taste, just a taste. So uh, there's a lot to be thankful for. And. I'll get to that in time, but I want to thank you guys most of all. Thank you for your support, and thank you for your patience. <laughs> I promise it will be rewarded. Ah, uh, he's the man. He's the man. Thank you for your patience. It will be rewarded. That is just too awesome. I mean, come on, man. What a humble... Like, what's better than that? A humble actor telling us... He's gonna get. He's gonna bring us joy and hope, and our patience will be rewarded. Suck it, Walter Hamada. You made it. What? Are, who? Who are these people in Hollywood making these giant mistakes? We want to see people like Tom Cruise and Henry Cavill do amazing things. We want to see them do amazing. People look back. I read this entire article about how people when well, uh, Man of Steel first came out. I'm. I was one of them. I, I was not the biggest fan of of Man of Steel, but upon additional viewings and an additional thought about it. I, it's one of my, it's actually really good. Give it a second shot. When it's further contextualized, when you put it in the bigger universe, when you see what happened in BVS and you get the ground level view of the actual destruction. I just, all of it. I just, I, I like it. I know people don't like the dark portray portrayal, but Henry Cavill, he's going to bring us the Superman we all want to see. And he, he's promising and he wants to bring joy and, uh, hope. It's awesome. So excited. But what, what do you guys think? Is this the biggest mistake Netflix could have ever made? Like, what is wrong with these guys? You, do you, what would you prefer? The biggest star in the world playing, playing, uh, you know, The Witcher, or you want to bring in Liam Hemsworth, uh, bargain basement bin version of his brother Chris Hemsworth? Which guy do you want? You want him? Is this a good decision? This is bad financial planning here. It's bad financial planning. Or, you know, would you rather see, you know, super duper diverse cast of people that are randomly together? You know, I definitely want to see this group of people do Witcher things. Not at all. No, thank you. Let me know in the comments below. Is this, a, again, poor financial decision? You tell me. Anyway, catch us live our uh, Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live stream. Full-length audio podcast. Join it. Catch us shorts. 
all that and more, I'm on to the next one. I'm out.